Game designer Nina Freeman has broached the topic of sex and relationships in some of her indie releases like A Dating Sim and How Do You Do It? Her latest effort is the autobiographical game Sibel, and it's probably the most mature and in-depth look into love and intimacy yet. You begin the game by basically clicking around Nina's desktop. You can browse through folders of old photos and selfies, websites, chat logs, and stuff from her younger years that she saved. Well, straight up I have to say that similar to games like Gone Home where you're going through a teenager's bedroom and trying to piece together a picture of her personality, I felt a huge personal connection playing this. I mean, that could have been my old desktop. Silly selfies and angsty poetry. I mean, there's such teenage girl nostalgia here. You do get a slight sense of discomfort playing this, don't you? Because you're really violating someone's privacy, going through all their memories and photos. Especially knowing that a lot of this stuff is straight out of the developer's life and history. Yeah, and it's not like you're encountering any great revelations or plot devices. This is all just simply telling us who this girl is. But there are a few references to games and certain people in Nina's life. Then you click on an icon labelled Volta Mary, which launches an MMO. Nina's character name in Volta Mari is Sibel. You immediately get an incoming call from Ichi, whom we saw mentioned in a few chat logs. Hey, what's up? And you proceed to group together in the game. <laughs> I'm glad I haven't messed up that bad yet. I'm never gonna yell at you. Uh, but still, don't be an idiot. You wouldn't yell at me? No. Really? I'm not gonna yell at a cute girl. <laughs> I'm not cute. As far as the Voltimary game itself, it's more of a suggestion of a game. All we really do is click on things and then the actions automatically play out, because our focus here is meant to be on the interactions yeah, with the other people in the narrative. Yeah, but we assume that the game itself, in the context of the story, would be as in-depth as something like World of Warcraft or Final Fantasy Online. Right, but it is simply enough to just click around in this. Because in addition to chatting to Itchy, you're also engaged in text chat with your other guild members. Conversations that play out automatically too, but are driven by your engagement. It's just another clever form of interactive storytelling, isn't it? And pretty soon you start to see that bond form between Nina and Itchy as they ask more and more personal questions about each other. I've never had a girlfriend. Wow. I'm pretty surprised. Don't be. I'm a total loser. I want to talk. Lying down at night. Just us. <sighs> yeah. I think about doing that sometimes, and I would love that. It's kind of thrilling, isn't it? I mean, that lack of face-to-face -face contact makes people more candid, more open. And I found myself becoming really curious about Ichi and the way he describes himself. I'm not nearly on that level with girls. I'm shit at talking to people in general. Really? You're so good with people in the game, though. Yeah, it's easier to talk when you're not looking at someone. The conversations felt really organic too. I imagine that they'd be scripted, but I'm sure there would be some sort of ad lib in there as well. Yeah, and I just love that delay of response time in their conversations too because the conversations you have over voice chat while gaming are often semi-distracting, like so many conversations we've all had in-game. This is the silliest. What are we even doing right now? Being friends and whacking stuff online. <laughs> You're also multitasking, trying to stay engaged in the game while following multiple conversations at once. Then boss fight and you're back to the desktop. Yeah, and it's these moments between gaming that you get a sense of time passing. New folders and pictures on the desktop, new blog posts, and you can see how Itchy and Nina's relationship is progressing. They swap photos, you can see folders of lingerie that Nina wants to buy. Nina starts to take intimate pictures of herself to send to Itchy. And then they discuss the possibility of meeting in person. Would you want to meet up with me? Like, in real life, if we lived closer? I think so. It's so wonderful because it's probably one of the most common social experiences of the modern world. Meeting someone online, forming a bond through a mutual interest, and sharing a lot of personal experiences and details with one another. Seriously though, what if we met? 
and eventually broaching the idea of whether or not this is something that just exists in a vacuum or if it would actually work in real life. Yeah, it's so relatable. And as you say, it's an almost unavoidable scenario today. And for that reason, I think a lot of people will find this a really worthwhile experience. That said, I know this was autobiographical. Nina had a personal story from her own life that she wanted to tell. But I almost wish it wasn't, because I think the premise of this game is so clever. I just see it as something that could have been developed into so much more. But then it wouldn't have the same impact, because the realism would have been falsified. All those photos and the snippets from Nina's past. Not necessarily. I mean, she could have drawn from her real life and then embellished to take the story further. I'm not saying I didn't enjoy it. I absolutely did. It was quite special, in fact. I just couldn't help but feel like when it ended, there was the opportunity for some really intense, long and complex story to develop beyond what we played. Because there's mystery there. From the start, we know so little about Itchy. He's a mysterious character. I feel like you're wanting to turn this into some sort of salacious drama. No, I'm not. I think you are. Well, maybe a little bit, but don't you think that would have been great? There was some kind of hardcore twist or crazy plot turn. I just think this is a really honest story about trying to form a connection, and it's that personal quality and authenticity that makes it worth playing. Yeah, you're probably right. What are you giving it? I'm gonna give it four stars. I really liked it. I'm giving it three and a half. I'm a skinny ghost, dude. Girls do not want to fuck me. <laughs> I don't know. It could happen.